The quarterfinals of the NCAA Division II Women's Volleyball Championship, Alaska Anchorage taking the five-set loss to Chaminade. With us in the post-game press conference, head coach Chris Green, along with student-athletes Talia Loawanai and Riley Pumhoff. Chris, definitely not the uh, result you wanted. It was uh, it was an aggressive match. Uh, you know, talk up your, just your statement on and the match and uh, how you saw things play out from your sideline. Yeah, they, uh, we played them earlier in the year. Uh, they added a couple pieces uh, since we played them the first time. And offensively, you know, they were uh, many times unstoppable. And so we, uh, you know, we just, we fought hard. Uh, didn't quite get over the hump there in the fifth game, but uh, they were, they're a good team. They're a good team right now. So, um, yeah, I have to give them credit for, especially offensively, they did some amazing things. Uh, it's really hard to slow them down. What made it hard to slow them down? You know, they, they pass well, um, and then they have four, five, six pretty good hitters. And uh, so we started slowing them down a little bit with our block, and that's what allowed us to get, uh, you know, games two and three. Uh, but then they found a way to, uh, you know, they kept swinging. Uh, they were aggressive, and, uh, you know, they were relentless. They really did a, a good job of continuing to uh, just uh, – put pressure on our defense. Talia, you paced the defense with uh, 20 digs tonight. Yeah, talk, talk about how you were responding to the challenge of some, some very aggressive hitting from Chaminade. Uh, yeah, they've had some, they have some great hitters on their team, like Coach Green said, and um, ultimately it comes down to being disciplined on defense and um, leading the court out there, uh, especially being the live, trying to take charge of the defense aspect of the game. Um, but yeah, Shawnak did a great job at um, seeing the block and hitting around it and putting the ball away. So Riley, again, you were you were critical on the serve line, 11 uh, service aces for the team. Three of them were yours. The, the service game did a lot to help keep Alaska Anchorage in the match. Uh, you know, t talk about how you were able to read things and uh, you know the, the clues that coach was giving you when, when you were back there. Yeah, for sure. Um, I just definitely go back there, I take a deep breath, make sure I have a good exhale and look what coach is telling me and just really make sure I have a good follow through right to where he wants it. Um, yeah. Reflect on the season. This has been a, a banner year for Alaska Anchorage regardless of the outcome today. Finish at 27 and 3, you have the Regional Player of the Year, first conference championship since 2016. Uh, Start with Chris and then uh, to the players. Just reflections on what this year has meant for you and for the program. Yeah, we're, uh, the coaching staff, very proud of what we've accomplished, of what these guys have accomplished. Uh, it's, you know, it takes a lot. It's a, a lot of hard work starting around August 1st. And, um, you know, they surprised me, to be honest. We had, we played some tough, tough teams in the GNAC, as you know, and uh, to only have one loss in that tough conference is a huge accomplishment and in the locker room you know we told them the coaching staff told them not to hang their heads we've had a you know a, a stellar season uh, not the way we wanted to end it but um, yeah we um, are very proud of what we've done Riley followed by Selena. it was a really special year um, being with these seniors I've played with them for four years and it was really a special team to be a part of. Having the conference championship was a big, big win for us. And just being able to be a part of it was an amazing opportunity. And I'm really thankful for it. And we'll definitely miss our seniors next year. Yeah, um, this season has been by far my favorite season. It'll be my last season. so. It has a special place in my heart, and I'm super proud of this team. I'm super proud of um, the people who have got us here, and um, I'm just glad we could leave a, a legacy, and we broke some records this year, so I'll, I'll, I'll forever cherish this uh, team and this opportunity. Chris, talk about your four seniors, Dalia, Lisa, Ellen, and Eve, uh, a, a very impressive group of players that have, has made some GNAC history. Yeah, Talia, Ellen, and Eve have been with us for five years because of COVID, um, and, and you're exactly correct. They, you know, Ellen, Eve, lots of records. Talia's, you know, on the 
top five list with Diggs. So, you know, they've been starters since they start, you know, since they got here as freshmen. And um, so we definitely, like Riley said, we're definitely going to miss them. Um, and then Lisa joined us. She's been with us only two years. We wish we had her some more. Um, but, you know, a powerhouse as an outside hitter. And uh, we've enjoyed, um, you know, she'll graduate in May. So we've, um, these three are graduating in December. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll definitely miss those uh, four seniors and, and we're proud of what they've accomplished. Riley, last question to you. What do you and, and the rest of the team that's not graduating do now to, to take that legacy and to, to propel it forward in future years? Yeah, so I think that this year was a really good inside look into what our team could be. And we, the new newcomers had a look into what Siebel Volleyball really is and a competitive team. So I'm hoping that we can just keep the momentum that we had from this year, winning conference, having a successful season, and we can use that to further on our momentum into next season. Alaska Anchorage head coach Chris Green, along with student athletes Talia Loawonai and Riley Plumhoff, congratulations on a great season. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.